Lady Maud Carnegie, Princess Maud, Alexandra Victoria Bertha, Countess of South Esk, Ni Lady Maud Duff was the granddaughter of King Edward VII and Queen Alexandra, wife of Charles Alexander Carnegie, 11th Earl of South Esk, wearing the amethyst necklace and tiara in a formal occasion. It is unknown how Princess Maud came to possess the jewels, as they were not a wedding gift from her grandmother. Queen Alexandra. Perhaps the princess received it as part of her inheritance after her mother. Her Royal Highness Princess Louise, Princess Royal, died. The necklace is made up of foliate garlands with five hexagonal amethysts set as swing centers within circular reeds, alternating with pear-shaped scrolls set with 13 old European cut diamonds weighing approximately 8.50 carats, 69 old European cut diamonds weighing approximately 10.00 carats, and numerous smaller old mine and rose cut diamonds weighing about 5.00 carats. Mounted in silver and gold, length 17 inches, the necklace can also be worn as a tiara when supported by a frame. The jewel was purchased from Wartski in 1958 as part of Queen Alexandra's jewel collection and was auctioned in 1988 and 2007. The necklace tiara, however, was first auctioned at Christie's on June 26, 1946, alongside other jewels from the late Countess of South Esk's collection. The tiara was most likely versatile, as Queen Alexandra wore the diamond clusters with cabochons of her imperial sapphire collar as a tiara. Princess Maud's jewels were auctioned off by her son, the third Duke of Fife, after her death, with the necklace sold by her family and then sold at various auctions since, the most recent in 2007. The sapphire and diamond necklace sold for £4,900, the amethyst tiara for £1,750, and the diamond and amethyst necklace for £580, along with a diamond, turquoise, and pearl tiara. Princess Maud's Wedding Gift from Queen Alexandra Both necklaces have resurfaced at auctions several times since their initial sale with Queen Alexandra's amethyst necklace selling as recently as 2007 after being worn by many prominent society figures. The United Grand Lodge of Freemasons in England presented a diamond butterfly made of the finest Brazilian diamonds on the occasion of the Prince and Princess of Wales's silver wedding anniversary. The three largest diamonds were set in the body, while 29 large stones set on the outside edges of the wings, along with 185 other stones, tapered the body lines and formed the wings, which were balanced on gold springs. The only color used to set the eyes was rubies, Messrs. Johnson, Walker, 
and Tolhurst of 80 Aldersgate Street, London, designed and manufactured it. The brooch was published in popular illustrated magazines in 1888. Later it was given to her granddaughter the Princess Royal, Countess of Harewood. It was sold by her descendants. A beautiful enameled gold bracelet with hand-colored miniature pictures of each of the girls and compartments with their initials set in diamonds on a garter blue enamel cover was given as a gift by the princess's train bearers. Ladies Diana Beauclerk, Victoria Scott, Georgina Hamilton, Victoria Howard, Elmer Bruce, Agnita York, Eleanor Hare, and Fedor Wellesley were the eight bridesmaids, who were all daughters of peers of the realm. Gerard Company made the bracelet in 1863. The young women in the center of the image are carrying the bracelet that they gave Her Royal Highness Princess Alexandra. Another gift from the prince is a gold necklace with Etruscan ornaments, which is worth looking at both for the antique simplicity of the design and for the craftsmanship. Mr. Phillips created the gold necklace. This gives the impression that the bride was a fan of these styles and types of art. Gerrards repaired and altered five stars for the Prince of Wales in September 1864, and in November spare diamonds from a tiara, presumably dismantled, were mounted in three-star hairpins for £125, while in 1866 he had a diamond bandeau made by the Crown Jewelers to hold nine-star ornaments for £500. These stars were adapted for other uses, such as brooches or pins. Alexandra was a huge fan of her stars. Despite this, the device had been popular for nearly two decades when she acquired the first of these ornaments. However, thanks in part to her sponsorship, the stars were still popular at the start of the, the 20th century snake bracelets, which Alexandra also favored, had a similarly long fashion life. A big diamond tiara, a lovely and shiny jewel, was given to the Princess of Wales by ladies she knew. It was the main present in the salon and immediately caught everyone's attention. This was a silver wedding that took place at Marlborough House in the year 1888. Gerard changed the original tiara frame when a new, self-adjusting gold frame was provided in 1895. Later, Queen Mary received the modified tiara, which she wore regularly. In 1953, when she passed away, she handed it to her granddaughter, Queen Elizabeth II.